Good Monday morning, Mount Olive Church. We want to give you the uh, devotion for this morning. You know, we should all be thankful uh, to our servicemen and women. We really owe a high debt of gratitude to the men and women in the armed forces of the United States of America. The reason we owe that great gratitude is these people are willing to risk their lives for our freedom. And that's just an incredible debt for us. I'm reminded of the story in 2002 of Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman uh, was drafted in the NFL. He was signed to a $3.9 million NFL contract. But after 9-11, Pat Tillman felt the obligation uh, to go into the service. And so he did that. And he did that uh, to serve his countrymen. And that decision cost, it, it costed him his life. So Pat Tillman gave his life, walked away from a lucrative, lucrative career, and he gave his life so you and I can enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy. So upon that, I want to talk to you about two things. I want to talk to you about uh, today in this devotion about service and about um, sacrifice. And we go to Mark in chapter 10 and verse 45, and all the ministers are going to be in this verse or in this book this week. And this really is the theme verse for the entire book. So as they speak this week about the gospel of Mark, the gospel according to Mark, and Mark, of course, uh, was that companion of, of Paul and, and some say uh, Peter. The theme verse of that is in Mark 10 and 45, and it comes out of the context that James and John had just asked Jesus if they could be on either side, if they could sit on either side uh, in the kingdom. Let us sit at your right hand and let my, you know, let the other sit at your left hand. And the disciples, the other 10, they got extremely angry about this question. And so there was a lot of dissension. And so what I'm reading to you now is not only the theme verse, the gospel of Mark, but it is uh, the reply of Jesus to these men. And let's read it. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. That's part one. And then the second part, and to give his life a ransom for many. Jesus came to serve and not to be served. He came to be a service man for me and for you he left the glories of heaven not just a, a big time nfl career and contract but jesus left heaven and came on this earth to serve the likes of me and you point number one if you want to be a true follower of christ if you want to be more like christ i don't think there's any better way on this earth to be more like christ than to Put as a top priority in your life to serve others first before your own self. Don't be self-serving. You know, one thing that I've uh, been amazed with with the uh, mission trips that I've been on is it ends up blessing me more than it blesses the ones that we go to minister to. And the reason that is, is in those moments of when you just put everything behind you and you totally want to serve others in the name of Christ, you are joined with Christ in a magnificent way. So even tomorrow, even today, look to serve others and put that as a priority. For Jesus came not to be served, but to serve. And then the second thing, but he gave his life as a ransom for many. Or in other words, he would give away his life, give it away in exchange for many who are being held hostage. He would give his life away so that us who are held hostage could be set free. What a great way to start off Monday to thank Jesus for giving his life that I would no longer be a hostage. And you say, TJ, what am I a hostage? Well, you know, what, uh, what has got me uh, as a hostage? Well, first of all is death. The Bible said through our whole lifetime, we're in bondage to the fear of death. But Jesus Christ died on that cross. And he paved the highway of freedom, of death, as he went to the grave. He overcome death, and anybody who believes in him is delivered from that bondage of death. 
uh, in the fear of death. You can lay your head on your pillow and know everything's going to be all right. We've been in bondage to sickness on this earth. In these bodies, we will grow sick. And we will have aches and pains. But Jesus Christ died and rose again and showed us, showed himself by many infallible proofs, the Bible says. He showed himself in a glorified body to let us know that he has made a way that we could be set free from the burden of this body that decays. And one day we'll have a brand new body. He set us free from sin. The shackles of sin, the prison of sin had us as a hostage. But on the cross, on his body, he bore the penalty and payment of sin so that you and I can be set free. Man of church, we hope that you start Monday morning off with a blessing. Be more like Christ today. Feel that connection by looking to serve others before you serve yourself. And secondly, rejoice in the fact that Jesus Christ gave his life freely so that those of us who are in bondage could be set free.